Welcome to day 18. Living only in the physical realm, we perceive the world through our senses. Yet, if we depend only on our senses, we believe the physical world is our sole reality in which all beings are separate from one another and have access to limited resources. From this perspective of lack, we begin to believe, for instance, that if someone else enjoys success or finds love, we may be left out. We become steeped in a competition that pits us against one another and prevents us from experiencing true bliss. In truth, at both the molecular and spiritual levels, you and I are one, sharing the unity of an all-pervasive spirit. And once we realize that we are completely connected, the notion of competition disappears, giving way to cooperation and unity consciousness. In this state, we know that when one person succeeds, we all succeed. Furthermore, since I am you, I do not exist without you. Buddha illustrated this point by using two bundles of reeds, leaning against each other for support. Both bundles thrive. Because one exists, the other does as well. Remove one bundle and the other bundle falls. In our own lives, we can come to understand this when we think about family. Families support each other in times of need. And when a brother or sister achieves success, the whole family celebrates. On the deepest spiritual level, we are not only related to our parents, brothers and sisters, but to the entire world. When we grow in this awareness, we live in unity, celebrating everyone's success. As we move toward the idea of living unity, our personal self is replaced by the universal self. We develop sincere feelings of relatedness to everyone and greater empathy with others as we share in their triumphs and joy. We become genuinely interested in their lives, give them our undistracted attention and assist them when asked. In this state, miracles are commonplace. Here we are able to create anything we desire including abundance in whatever form we choose. Miracles happen because we are living in love, service and compassion. The understanding of living unity carries with it tremendous power. When enough people come to the realization that we are truly one, and release the perception of separateness, we can achieve a critical mass of uplifted consciousness that will not only benefit our own lives, but will also help us heal the world. Spend some time practicing living unity today. Be present and genuinely interested in the lives of others when you speak with them. In your conversations, give your undivided attention and if you see someone in need, offer your assistance. 
Fostering these experiences will help you cultivate a deeper understanding of true interconnectedness. Let's begin our meditation by focusing our attention on the centering thought. I celebrate my unity with all life, knowing we are all one. I celebrate my unity with all life, knowing we are all one. Now let's begin. Please find a comfortable position, placing your hands lightly in your lap and closing your eyes. In this moment, go within to that place of inner quiet where we experience our connection to the higher self. Let go of all thoughts and begin to observe the inflow and outflow of your breath. With each inhalation and exhalation, allow yourself to become more relaxed, more comfortable, more at peace. Gently introduce the mantra, repeating it mentally and allowing it to flow with effortless ease. Thak Thwam Asi Thak Thwam Asi I see the other in myself and myself in others. Tat Twam Asi Whenever you find yourself distracted by thoughts, sensations in your body, or noises in the environment, simply return your attention to mentally repeating the mantra. Twam Asi. Please continue with your meditation. I'll mind the time, and at the end, you'll hear me ring a soft bell to indicate it's time to release the mantra. Tat Twam Asi. just mentally.
It's time to release the mantra. Please bring your awareness back into your body. Take a moment to rest. Inhaling and exhaling slowly and deeply. When you feel ready, gently open your eyes. As you continue with your day, carry the sense of living unity with you, reminding yourself of today's centering thought. I celebrate my unity with all life, knowing we are all one. I celebrate my unity with all life, knowing we are all one. I celebrate my unity with all life, knowing we are all one. Namaste.